Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another Disney video. This is gonna be a quick one, but I wanted to bring it up because I see a lot of people talking about it on Twitter. There seems to be some confusion, and even I was a bit confused when I looked into some of this, and well, it's something that actually affects me personally. Even though I don't have any plans to be going to Disney right for the opening in July, um, there are some things that people who live in the Northeast should be aware of. So Disney recently put out a bunch of new updates to their guidelines for the reopening in July, um, for July 11th and 15th when the parks open respectively. And they've talked a little bit more about park reservation system, what restaurants will be opening, um, what's going to be available and what's not. For example, minivans will not be available from the get-go, things like that. So if you wanna check that out, I'm actually gonna link below because Disney's page can explain it better than I can at this moment. There's a lot of information. That said, one of the things to keep in mind is that they do reference somewhere within all of this language that the um, executive orders that have been given by the governor of Florida still stand when it comes to visiting Disney World. And if you don't do the research, you might not know what that means, um, but it means that people from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, as of right now, have to quarantine for 14 days when they go to Florida. This executive order isn't new. I think this has been around since about March or April, but it has been extended, um, even though Florida is moving into reopening phases, it was extended with the state of emergency executive order. And it was kind of confusing because I was trying to find the end date and had to go through three different executive orders to find the right end date. Um, it's so confusing. End date right now of the state of emergency in Florida and, and the end date of when that quarantine rule would be lifted is July 7th. So in that time frame, you would think, well, okay, Disney opens July 11th. So right now, there is no need to panic if you are traveling from New Jersey, New York, or Connecticut and going to the theme parks. Um, however, that could be extended and you need to definitely be aware of this. And it's confusing because Disney doesn't actually state the three states on their website and you do have to go to the Florida travel site to see it. And again, I had to dig through executive orders to find the end date of July 7th, which currently is. Um, and so I think that there's just a lot of confusion about how this applies and some people are panicking and thinking, oh, my vacation is ruined. Now, obviously this would affect me personally. I live in New Jersey, I'm from New York. Either way, if I was still there or I'm here, I wouldn't be going anywhere um, because that is how they're handling it right now. And they are actually doing, at least for driving, they are doing um, ID point checks to see where you're coming from. Suffice to say, if you were gonna hop on a plane tomorrow from one of these states to go hang out in Disney Springs, you would have to quarantine for 14 days before you can go anywhere. So it's really important to keep that in mind. And I wanted to put that out there because I saw a lot of people were confused or panicking or how's this gonna affect things. Um, right now, it shouldn't affect a Disney trip. It would affect a Universal trip, right? They're open. So if you're coming from one of these three states up here, you would not be able to go there as well. And again, this is this is an executive order from the governor. This is nothing really to do individually with what the theme parks think. It's just what the state is doing right now. Um, so don't panic yet if you have a trip lined up, but I would really recommend keeping an eye on that Florida travel um, website. I will put that link down below as well, like the government website that is talking about um, different travel restrictions because that I imagine will update um, with any extensions that might happen. Um, and if, if it doesn't get extended, I assume that they will pull it off as a, as a travel restriction. So I'd really just be aware of that. That's it, I just wanted to do a quick one, um, especially because it's affecting people who are from my area. So be mindful um, as you plan and make sure that you are informed and educated on what is happening in terms of travel restrictions not only in your own state, but obviously in other states as well. If you like this video, then like it. If you like me, you should subscribe. I make videos every single week. I'm slowly trying to unpack the information that Disney has put out. I haven't done too much on planning yet. You'll see a few more videos this week um, that are a bit higher level discussion um, because there's still a lot of detail we don't have yet. I'm looking at it, I'm analyzing it, and hopefully I can start putting out um, planning videos for you guys around that because I think planning is going to change 
quite a bit for 2020, if not beyond. So you should subscribe if you want to be updated on all of that. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a great rest of the day.